Today in the M fold, the angle uh, 580. So here we have the angle E580. It was for years and years Engel's flagship in the um, rack preamp realm and it still seems to be a very powerful unit. It has so much controls that we, first of all, well, let's have a look. We start with the easy ones. Here we have a master volume, then we have a channel volume, we have an FX loop control. Here we have basically the MIDI section where we can toggle between different presets and then we can write those presets or go to manual mode. Currently we are in manual mode, that means I can toy around with the sound and that's it. But when I go to, for instance, the different presets. As you can see, the LEDs change here. Some switches activate and even the controls do change. So back to manual. Uh, this of course means that everything is MIDI programmable. That means treble here is programmable and I could basically just turn one up and program a new sound and it will also save the actual knob position. Speaking of the knobs, we have a four band EQ, bass, low mids, high mids and treble. And we have basically, as you can see, 20 different steps going from 1 to 21. Okay, I'll leave it here at noon. Here we have our gain control. Um, those writings here were made by the previous owner. I kept them because they are better readable um, with the camera. Okay, now the fun stuff. Here we have three knobs that basically select the channel. Here we have a preamp defeat. So no preamp activated. It basically means uh, we go directly to the FX return. Here we select between the clean and the lead channel. Deactivated is clean channel, activated is lead channel. And here we can select high gain or low gain. Currently we're at low gain, activated is high gain. Then we have those controls. This is a bottom control. This is a contour for the mids, I think. This is a bright switch. This is the ultra bright. This only works in the clean channel. Here we can change the basically the overall sound between classic and modern. Deactivated is modern, activated is classic. And here we have two knobs that only affect the recording output and here we can basically add I think some treble and here we can add some bass. Okay. I have some B-rolls for the back. So now that everything should be clear, let's head over to the EQ curve. And on the left, you see the regular stereo out that you would typically connect to a power amp and then a cap. And on the right, you see the recording output that is uh, frequency compensated. And as you can see, quite heavily. So currently we are in the clean mode. So. rather linear although in the very high positions there is some loose cut 
base We brought around 200, I think. Lomit. Around the 400. Maybe even 800. Climb it. 2K. And it also interacts with the lows so we could boost the lows and travel kind of in the same realm although this one doesn't interact with the base okay volume it's a simple volume boost and master as well so bottom slightly adds some bottom now contour maybe it let's see not really very subtle bright at some very high frequencies so this one should work at some more high frequencies. Now we switch from modern to classic. Lower in volume. And this should only affect the right EQ curve. So here it adds some bass. And here it adds some treble. Okay, now let's switch to high gain. The curve itself doesn't change this much. Now to the lead channel. Way lower volume, less bass. Let's compensate. Maybe. Seems like it behaves the same. Yes, it does. Okay, now um, let's look at oh, the gain. Basically, just compresses more. Okay, now bottom. Again, now contour. Nope, again, very subtle. Ultra doesn't do a thing. And now modern classic. Less highs, more mids. And here we have the same. Okay, now high gain. Smoothens out the highs. Okay, I think I've shown you enough. Now let's find out how this preamp actually sounds.
So I've always been a big fan of angle amplifications. I had several angle amplifiers actually and uh, I never had the 580 because it was quite expensive back then. But now I got a good deal finally and I immediately pulled the trigger and now I have it. So what can I say? First of all, I was really overwhelmed by the options of the angle and I don't think the mirrored front is beneficial by understanding the amp because it's very hard to actually read what all those knobs do. Um, gladly, the previous owner did some, um, <laughs> well, markings uh, and as soon as you understand what they actually mean, it's fairly easy to dial in this amp and as far as the sound goes I think it has the typical angle flavor it's very versatile uh, especially with the low and high mids that you have two different controls for mids normally I don't like it this much for my amps and uh, but here it's actually quite intuitive and you can get some more variety with the contour control as well as the bright switch and yeah so overall it has this typical angle sound uh, the more gain you add the more compressed it gets however on previous amps i had where there's also the modern classic switch i always found the classic to be unusable because it drastically altered the sound in a way I really didn't like. Here on this amp it just slightly alters the sound and it's totally usable so I can actually see myself for the first time ever using a classic mode on an angle. And the high gain switch it's also really cool because on my previous angles, uh, for instance, the Invader and the Special Edition actually, you had to press this high gain switch, otherwise it wasn't possible to get a typical angle sound. Uh, at least what I think a typical angle sound is. But now this is totally achievable. The frequency corrected output is cool. However, I highly prefer the direct output into an IR that I like 
but it's totally usable and maybe it's a cool backup sound to blend into the actual capped and mic'd up uh, cabinet power amp or whatsoever. So all in all, I'm impressed with the versatility of this angle. I for sure have to play around more with it. And, um, but yeah, dream came true and I won't sell this very soon. So what do you think about the 580 and do you own the 580? If so, what's your favorite uh, setting? Uh, let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, you might want to check out the affiliate links in the description. And you might also want to become a YouTube member, maybe. And with this being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.